The way I got started in magic is I was 12 years old, I was grounded by my mother, and I was bored out of my mind in my room playing with my fire trucks, and I found a magic book that was tossed under my bed that an aunt or someone had given me as a gift, learned a trick from it, and I've been hooked ever since that day. Magic as a profession really occurred to me when I was in high school. I was 18 years old. Um, we had to do a community service project for to, in order to graduate. And I thought, what better way to raise funds for the community than putting on a magic show? Then once I saw how much money we raised and donated to the community, I was like, wait a second, there's something to this. You could do this for a living. So when I was young and just coming up in magic, I would drive down Genesee Street and look at the Stanley Marquis and say, someday my name will be on there and someday I'll perform on that stage. And with the support of the community, we just recently sold out the Stanley Theater, which is a dream I never thought would become a reality. Currently, Rami Lowe and I are performing all over the world. We are so blessed and so lucky to be able to do what we love for a living. Uh, we've performed on five continents together over the last eight years. And with our exposure this summer on America's Got Talent, um, we've been really able to live some of our most wildest dreams in the last three or four months. For me, it was about dreaming big to have a great magic career, but for anyone else out there, it can be whatever you're into. If you wanna be a lawyer, a doctor. Um, for me, I enjoyed reading magic books and studying performances, but it can be whatever you're into. Just keep dreaming and dream big and you will reach your goals.